What's going on, y'all? It's the kid J. Nolan here. Hey, man, the case that won't die, Tory Lanez, Megan Thee Stallion, okay? Reports are now coming out saying that Tory Lanez regrets the fact that he did not actually testify in court. He was not able to get up on the stand, plead his case, plead his testimony, give his side of the story. Ultimately, the jury not being able to deliberate all relevant facts of the case that led to his conviction. We know what happened with that. According to Rolling Stone, a well-placed source, quote unquote, quote says that Tory felt misled by his trial lawyer George McDesian who dissuaded him from taking the witness stand. He wanted to get some things off his chest. His attorney guided him not to do that. And apparently the reason why his attorney was so adamant about him not taking the stand is because the prosecutors were prepared to present a slew of evidence if Tory took the stand, which included his alleged assault of August Alsina that had taken place in September of 2022 and not to mention his cat music video where he played a butcher carving up a horse leg in an alleged reference to Megan because horse stallion chopping it up. Very terribly played situation. I don't understand why you would make a music video taunting the situation to that degree, especially when your freedom is on the line. It just seems very stupid, very immature. And you know, his pops is on IG live every day praying trying to lead the congregation, talking about how Rock Nation is the evil empire and that they forgive them, they forgive Megan and all this stuff. Forgive your son, my nigga. Forgive your son. Now, as I reported a couple weeks ago, Tory Lanez has hired David Kenner, who is a shark in the law world, most famously known for representing Snoop Dogg and Suge Knight. Got Suge off of his murder case. Got Suge Knight out of countless incidents. Um, even to this day, Suge Knight still maintains that had David Kenner been representing him in 2015, he would not be in jail, in prison right at this moment. Since David Kenner's hiring, he says that he cannot discuss the alleged mistakes, quote unquote, that will be the basis for a new trial because that is what they're pushing for. But he says that he's optimistic about his chances of overturning his client's convictions. He also welcomed the addition of Jose Baez to the defense team. And he says, it is our collective view that based upon a motion for a new trial and if necessary, an appeal, we will ultimately be successful in freeing Tory Lanez. Now, this is kind of crazy. He follows up and says, there is another side of the story at trial, which has yet to be told. And we look forward to doing so. So it sounds to me that he's pretty confident that there's information that could literally overturn the court's decision with them and their new team, um, perhaps allowing Tory Lanez to come out and tell his side of the story. Things could get a little crazy. Now, as I mentioned before about Suge Knight talking about how had he been able to have David Kenner represent him in court, he says, if they'd have let me use David Kenner, I wouldn't be having this conversation from prison with you. He said, I understand what Megan goes through because when Tupac and I got shot in Vegas, I got a fragment and a bullet an inch into my skull today. They didn't remove it because they said if it were another inch, I'd have been a vegetable or dead. So I know what it's like when people say you didn't get shot. This didn't happen. She's lying. They accuse me of stuff, too. He also says that he empathizes with Tory Lanez being locked up. He says right now, Tory is probably going through the worst days of his life because the county jail is so horrible and dirty. The food is garbage. The cell is freezing. It's dirty and nasty. You could be sitting in your bed at night and a rat might run across your chest or it might bite you. Roaches all over your bed. God damn, boy. You might well go back to the project for that. A lot of people have celebrated Megan Thee Stallion's victory. However, it seems like that victory could very well be short lived or at least she's not going to be able to find peace because the court's judgment is soon to be challenged. I don't know how this thing is going to turn out. I don't have the answer sway. OK, let me know what y'all think of this down below in the comments, man. Be sure to like and share this video. And if this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Much love and respect, y'all. Peace. Got my legal hustle. Welcome to the trap. I could blow a stack, but I'll make it back. You can hit my line if you need a track. But we can't even talk if it ain't about the back. Got my legal hustle, welcome to the trap. I can blow a stack, bet I make it back. You can hit my line if you need a track. But we can't even talk if it ain't about the bat.